Hi guys, it's Sam um, Stu here from Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung, all things tech, all things gaming, and anything in between. So if you're interested in tech, subscribe. It's down there somewhere. Just a very quick video. Um, as you know, I updated the firmware on the Samsung KS8000 to 1180.5. And um, I've been getting a lot of feedback on the videos that I've done. And I just want to assure you guys that I'm going to do another video after I've watched an awful lot of content um, because initially the the uh, post assessment that I did was just viewing the the 4K movies and so on. Since then, obviously, I've, I've a lot of the content which we watch is HD, just standard, you know, as well as 4K. But a lot of us predominantly still watch uh, HD content. Um, and I've watched some movies, I've watched some HD movies, I've watched some, a lot of HD TV, and I'm going to over the next sort of few days. And then next week, I'll do a sort of catch up on what I think. So far, I've seen some pros, I've seen some good stuff, and the other night, watching Batman versus uh, Superman, whatever the rest of it was called, um, it looked really bad. I mean, it looked really bad. HD on that are just shocking. I thought I'd gone back to the 80s or something. Um, and I showed it to my mate last night, and um, just one section, and he, he was shocked how bad it looked. So I'm just hoping that maybe it was just um, just a, a bad port to HD, and it's the it was the the one on um, Sky that um, I downloaded. But yeah, if that's I've seen others and they looked okay. Um, I've not had the switching issue on the HDMI. I'm not getting the HDR thing that a lot of people are getting to. I'm not I'm not I'm getting I'm not seeing the HDR notice. Um, and I'm not too sure it is actually playing in HDR. Um, you know, there's, there's some things that I'm concerned about. Initially, my post analysis was just based on picture on 4K, but since then I've seen HD and standard def and so on, and I'm, I'm noticing some things that are concerning me. Not, not necessarily getting light lead so much, but in terms of there's processing that seems to be going on behind the scenes that I'm not even putting on. And that's alarming. I want to be in control of my TV. I need to be so I can get the picture I want. Not to have um, uh, the TV or Samsung decide what it thinks I sh my TV picture should be. So yeah, there's a few things I need to investigate. There's some problems I know that people are having with the PS Pro and this update. So I want to investigate that. Um, so what I want to know is, um, what problems are you having? since 1180.5. What, what is concerning you? I want to make a list so I can then look to see if I'm having that and let me know if it's on, the, say, the PS Pro, what it is that you're playing that's causing the problem or if it's a particular thing you're, you're watching, say you're on Netflix or Amazon or whatever, is there something on there that I can see easily that, that's causing you issues and that I can see if I'm getting that too and then I hope, I aim to try and create some fix. I also know there's an arc problem. The audio return channel on the HDMI isn't working particularly well on, for some people too. I don't use it uh, because it's always only ever caused problems, but I know there's a problem there for some. So yeah, let me know what the problems are. We will need to create a list, we need to create a discussion, and then we're going to try and create a fix. Okay, have a great day. Um, I'll be back with you next week with um, a, a more detailed update on my thoughts and uh, hopefully we can get this fixed and move forward and enjoy our bloody TVs. Okay guys, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and talk and stuff. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.